Hi everyone, I'm Sophie. And I'm Catherine from TLC's DC Cupcakes. Today we're here with TLC.com's Holiday Hostess series and we're gonna show you how to make our traditional Greek kularakia cookies. They're Greek butter cookies and they're a classic dessert for both Easter and Christmas. So we're gonna start with one pound of unsalted butter or four sticks of unsalted butter. And I know that seems like a lot of butter, but they are butter cookies and it's the holidays so we can splurge on the calories a little bit. One and a half cups of granulated sugar, two large eggs, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, and two tablespoons of orange juice. For our dry ingredients, we have four cups of sifted all-purpose flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. And we're gonna set aside an extra egg and some sesame seeds because we're gonna be making an egg wash that we're gonna brush the cookies with once they're on the baking sheet. And we're gonna sprinkle them with these sesame seeds right before they go into the oven. Great, okay, so before we get started, we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna take a cookie sheet. And if you don't have a non-stick cookie sheet, you can line your cookie sheet at home with some parchment paper or take a stick of butter and give it a good um, greasing with some butter. So we're ready to mix up our ingredients. We're gonna use a stand mixer, but if you don't have a stand mixer, you can always use a hand mixer as well. In goes the butter, all of them. And you may wanna just give your butter a quick spin so you can soften it up before you add the sugar. Great, now let's add the sugar. Perfect. And we're gonna mix this for three to five minutes until it gets light and fluffy. And Catherine, do you wanna crack the eggs? Yep, but let's see if I can get no shells again. No shells, no shells. Yes. So we're gonna take down the speed to, to low, and Catherine's gonna add the eggs one at a time very slowly. And then the last egg. And now we're ready to add our vanilla and orange juice. So while Sophie scrapes down the bowl, I am going to add the baking powder into the flour. Just sift. You wanna make sure not to overbeat and put the mixture on high because at this point, we should really start kneading it. Give it one final mix. I'm gonna take now, I have a little mat that I'm using, but you could definitely use a kitchen counter. And I'm gonna take a little bit of flour and just sprinkle it on to your kitchen counter. So you're gonna to wanna to fold and punch Fold the dough over and punch it again with your knuckles and then fold it and punch it until it all comes together in a big ball. There we go, scrape that out. So now's the time where you wanna take some extra flour and kind of sprinkle it on your baking area, on your countertop or your mat or if you have a cutting board so that the dough won't stick. Sometimes your hands are gonna get really sticky with this dough, so I'm gonna need a lot more than that. So you're gonna get some flour and get something to sprinkle it on and just rub your hands together. There you go. I actually need more. Can you, I, I usually use a lot of flour. Here, I'll just do it like this. There we go. <laughs> so you're just gonna push. It smells so good. Roll it over and push it again. We're gonna roll this into a big log like this. And we're gonna let it sit on the counter for 50 to 20 minutes. Our cookie dough is now ready to use. It's nice and um, still um, you know, soft, but it's not too sticky. So we're gonna take a pinch off the end and we're gonna roll it in our hands. And you wanna pinch a bit like the size of a little, like a large gumball is my kind of general rule. But you can definitely make the cookies larger or smaller. Mm -hmm. You're gonna roll the dough in your hands and the traditional shape for kularakia is either a twist or a wreath. So we're gonna roll the dough and shape them into little um, twists. I'm gonna start the egg wash. It's very simple. It's one egg. We're gonna crack it. We're just gonna whisk it up. And you're gonna use this to brush on top of the cookies. And then after you brush them, you're gonna sprinkle on the sesame seeds that we have here. I remember when we were kids, this was our favorite thing to do, to just brush all the cookies, like painting. And then you're gonna take the sesame seeds and you're gonna give it a good sprinkle all the way down. Perfect. Okay, so our kularakia are ready to go in the oven. We're gonna pop them in at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. I would check at 18. If this top starts to get a nice golden brown, then you know they're ready to come out. Okay, let's open the oven, put okay. these in. Great. And now we wait. I think we can check the oven. And it looks like our kularakia are done. Let's get them out. Oh yeah, they are toasty brown on top. They're still a little warm, so you wanna let them cool for a bit. And they look gorgeous. And we'll just put them on this little platter. 
You can mix them up with your wreaths and your twists. If you're doing a cookie basket to give as gifts over the holidays, you can add these in a little treat snack bag. The wreaths are super cute. If you want, you can put a little candy M&M in the center to kind of give it a little extra burst of color. Okay, let's split this one. Okay. Break it in half. Oh yeah. Mmm. It's delicious. It's definitely a traditional Greek dessert you make around the holidays. For this recipe and more, check out TLC.com. Happy, Happy holidays! holidays.